Hello friends, welcome you in this video series of isometric drawing. Here we have the front view and top view and we will draw the isometric view of these two orthographic views. Here I have already drawn the x-axis, y-axis and z-axis and these are the isometric axis. Now we will start the drawing. Here the height is 11 millimeters from the origin point. Now set scale parallel to x axis and draw a parallel line from this point and do the same procedure to the left side. There is a semicircle in the top view and the diameter of this semicircle is 30 millimeters. In order to draw this semicircle, we have to make the isometric square and the side of isometric square it should be. 30 millimeters. Now draw the line from this point. Now take this distance into compass and mark a point on these two lines like this and mark midpoints also. Now set scale parallel and join these two points. Now the isometric square is completed now from the big angle we have to join the opposite sides midpoints like this now this is center 1 and this is center 2 take this distance into compass and draw the curve from these two midpoints again take this small distance into compass and from center 2 join these two midpoints. Now this semicircle is completed. Next we will draw this portion. Set scale parallel to this line and draw this center line from the midpoints. Again set scale parallel to the x axis and draw the center line from these two midpoints. The width of this slot is 12 millimeters. So with the help of compass I will mark this distance on isometric scale. Now from this center I will mark the 6 mm distance on both the axes. Now again there is a semicircle in the top view so we have to make the isometric square. So draw the lines from these points like this and again draw the line from this point. Now here the isometric square is completed and draw the opposite midpoints from the big angle like this. Now here we have two center points uh, this is center 1 and this is center center 2 take this distance into compass and from center 1 draw the curve like this now again take this small distance into compass and draw the curve carefully from these two midpoints. Extend these two lines. Now at this end again there is a semicircle. So again we have to make the isometric square. So mark the distance like this and, and draw draw the parallel lines this one and this one now again join the opposite sides midpoints from the big angle take this distance into compass and join these two midpoints 
like this and again take this small distance into compass and with this center point join these two opposite midpoints now shift all these center points below by 11 millimeters center one and uh, this distance should be 11 millimeters and take this distance into compass and with the shifted point draw the curve from these two points shift center to below by 11 millimeters and it can be center to dash and draw the curve like this and just draw a tangent like this and dark this curve okay, now on this line the mark mark the points on 70 mm 60 mm and 45 mm distance draw a vertical line from this point like this and extend this line up to the bottom line like this here the height is 27 millimeters so mark the point on 27 millimeters and set scale parallel to the y-axis and just draw the line the diameter of the circle is 30 millimeters so mark the point on 30 millimeters and mark the midpoint also and we have to draw the circle so we should make the isometric square so mark the points accordingly and draw the lines from these points like this now here the isometric square is completed ok now just mark the midpoints also and join the opposite midpoints from the big angle like this uh, this is center 1 and this is center 2 now with help of compass we have to join these two midpoints just draw the curve and with the center to join these two midpoints so here the half circle is completed now uh, dark this line uh, this line should be dark and again draw all the visible edges now we will draw this circle so initially we have to make the isometric square in order to draw this circle so mark the dimensions on both axes like this and just draw the vertical lines and uh, two parallel lines to the y-axis so here the isometric square is completed now join the opposite sides midpoints from the big angle like this now this is the these are the center points 1 2 3 and 4 now with help of compass just join the midpoints from the center 1 center 2 and center 4 with the respective distance
and take this small distance into compass and join these two midpoints okay now here the circle we have drawn successfully set scale parallel to the x axis and draw a parallel line from this point and close this loop measure 8 mm distance here and mark the point on 8 mm distance we can mark this 8 millimeters distance with the help of compass also like this we have to mark this distance both sides draw a line from this point and draw a vertical line from this point this point and this point also and close this loop set scale parallel to this line and draw a small line from this point again draw a small line from this point also now take 8 millimeter distance into compass and mark a point on this line this will be our new center point you can say center one dash and take this distance into compass and from the new center point that is c1 dash just draw a curve like this now extend this center by 8 millimeters to the right side and mark 8 millimeters distance on this point and that will be our new center point that is c1 2 dash and take this distance into compass and from the new center point just draw a curve and draw a tangent like this and dark this small curve dark these two lines set scale parallel to this line and extend this line towards the right side again the extent this line also now take this distance into compass and mark point on this line and this line also Now from this point draw the curve like this and measure 8 mm distance and mark the point on this line and draw the curve. Dark all visible edges this one this one this one and this one also now extend this line also take this distance into compass and mark a point on this extended line this will be our new center point again draw a line from this point also Now take this distance into compass and with this point draw a curve like this and take 8 millimeter distance and mark on this point this line and 
again take this distance into compass and just draw a curve like this and draw tangent dark this portion now we have to draw the isometric circle and in order to draw this isometric circle we will shift all the center points and with the help of these center points we will draw the circle now take this distance into compass and mark point on this line and take this distance into compass and draw small curve like this now shift these two center points also and take this distance into compass and mark point on this line take this small distance into compass and with this center point draw a small curve again shift this center point again take this distance into compass and mark on this line again take this small distance into compass and with this new center point just draw a small curve like this here the isometric circle is completed now you should dark this circle set scale parallel to this line and draw a line from this point shift this point below by 11 mm shift this point also below by 11 mm again shift this point also now just draw curve and draw the dark line like this and make this curve dark mark 8 mm distance on this line from center 1 and take this distance into compass and just draw a curve like this mark 30 mm distance on this line here we should extend this line and this will be the new center point again take this distance into compass and just draw a curve similar to previous curve 